Po' Boy Special here. We had a request for this one and I, I'm really going to enjoy this. What is it? We want to know the penetration difference. Here we have the clear gel. Penetration difference of the 38 Special. The 38 Special Plus P and the 357 Magnum. You say, well, what's the big deal? Well, they're all the same weight, which is it's a Remington 125 grain semi-jacketed hollow point. So they're all the same 125 grain bullet and it's all the same manufacturer, Remington. The only difference is the 38 Special, the Plus P, and the Magnum. What kind of penetration difference can you expect between these three? What are we going to shoot it out of? What we're using is a little Rossi 357 Magnum snub nose. There it is right there. And why we chose the small snub nose is because from this you'll get the minimum penetration and minimum results. So from this anything else will obviously increase so we just wanted to show the minimum results and let's see what we get. 38 special from six feet away. All right, surprisingly enough, if we follow the wound channel here, it did go all the way through and out the back so we got 16 inches of total penetration from that now the wound channel is not very big at all if you want to see whoops the wound channel not very big at all 38 special plus P from six feet All right, this time we did not go all the way through. Here's the bullet. It trapped it very nicely, and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, as we can see, it went to the one foot mark, which is right here, and almost 13 inches. So if we go from here straight down, it's about 12 and a half, almost 13 inches. So that's how much penetration we got. As you can see, the bullets right there, it got pretty good expansion. Give you a top view of it. There's the top view of it. So it did not go all the way through. However, the 38 Special did. So next up is the 357 Magnum. 357 Magnum, six feet away. All right, the 357 is this one right here. This one was the 38. This one was the plus P. The 357 is right here. So if you follow along, right here we have a pretty good expansion. And it did go, if you follow this wound channel, all the way through and out the back. And we, were, we did recover the bullet. And there it is. So we did recover that one. We'll give you sizes and weights and everything in just a minute. So it did go all the way through, all the way 16 inches, and there you go. The expansion happened. We can get a good look at it here. Probably it started at, oh, I would say about the one and a half and went all the way to about three. So about one and a half to three inches where this occurred. All right, the bullet started at 125 grains and it ended up at 111.6, 111.6. So there